Well, this concert was a little bit of a disappointment for those who are a big average sevenfold fan. For me, honestly, I do respect the band and I do think they have put out good music throughout the years. I'm just not a big average sevenfold fan. But I am a really big fan of Falling Over Verse. Like I've been a fan of Ronnie Radke since his Escape to Fate days. I'm happy that he opened up with Zombified. I was pretty annoyed at the fact that because I'm in an amphitheater, people did not sit the fuck down. Like everyone just kept getting up for their seats like it's a fucking movie theater. Like please sit down, enjoy the concert. A lot of us played a lot of money to see the show. Can you sit down please? Did not get that. I constantly had to keep moving my camera around just so I can try to at least get a good quality and good glimpse of the show. Once Falling Over Versus performance had ended, I am so used to certain bands being like the headliners that I actually wanted an encore of Ronnie Racky's performance. But you know what I think would be a really badass fucking dream tour would be Kid Rock, Eminem, and Falling Overs. Whichever which way that order goes, I think that'll be awesome. And I really can relate to Ronnie on a personal level when it comes to his lyrics. The fact that he struggles with depression, the fact that he doesn't believe in God, and you know, I'm gonna leave it to my friends to tell you what they thought of tonight's show. So what do you guys thought of uh, this beautiful one hour show? <laughs> So falling in reverse, Ronnie Radke was great live. His performance, wonderful, great. It was worth it, but I'm kind of disappointed that Event Sevenfold canceled. But the singer got sick, so it makes sense. But Let's also, I think that we should get a refund. Hopefully, it's not going to be like COVID, where I got concert tickets to August Burns Red and never got a refund or a reshow. But I have faith in Event Sevenfold for yeah. doing a new show or another performance and getting a refund, maybe? And then seeing Falling Universe for free, so that's cool. Yes. Yeah. So many people were so pissed off. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm honestly surprised but also glad that no one started a riot and throwing shit around. I was kind of worried how we were going to get out of there if people started like fucking rioting and shit and I'm just like nah they're probably too old for that it's fine <laughs> <laughs> nah, they'll break a hip trying to riot <laughs> yeah I'm just like yeah they're not gonna do anything they're just gonna be mad and complain and go and leave angrily it's fine yeah, yeah. I mean, we did play a, a nice uh, chunk of chains for our tickets yeah, yeah they were did. very expensive so hopefully we get that back that would be very nice could be put towards I don't know another show in the future yeah, oh, yeah. or merch a or good a tattoo thing. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Good thing is, at least we'll make up with towards the end of the month. Yes, the tribute band for Avenged Sevenfold. I am very excited to see them, and I hope they play Nightmare. Yeah. Because I will lose my mind, because I love that song. Yeah. I'm too excited. <laughs> yeah. I'm too excited for everything. So uh, Especially My Sweet Revenge. I'm always excited yes. to see them. Yes. They're the best. Yeah, I'm gonna hopefully bring that special someone to come with me.
It's all I got for now. I don't want to talk about it. This is in my head. Keep on begging me to stay. If I pull the trigger now, then the demons go away. And I know my time is coming, so there ain't no time to wait. So that is all I got for now. I don't want to talk about it. Another second, then I'll wait. It's another second, sooner to a person I will wait. But my therapist.